So in the early days, uh, and I know I was the same, everything was all about buying. But what's it like 10 years later or in the second decade of being an investor? Well, <clears throat> in the early days for me, and it might feel that way for you, it's like, how can I find a discounted deal? How can I get the money to, to buy a discounted deal? Um, how do I fund the cash flow? Where do I get the build? Or da, 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 da. And it's all about the acquisition, whether it's the money side, the team side, or, or actually sourcing, um, which, is, which is normal. Then you get into renting them out and then later on, it's like, okay, how do I pay it down? And as you probably know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, for me, I'm old school, you know, profit is income in minus, minus costs. And if we can re reduce down costs by paying down debt, because um, who wants to be in hock to a bank? That's not financial freedom in my opinion. Everybody's different. That's my opinion. You know, I ain't real until, you know, it's all the equities yours. I mean, it's real. I'm not knocking it, but I don't want to be leveraged. Um, so I'm at the stage now of paying down debt and I'm paying it down furiously. I'm kind of knocking those houses over, the mortgages over like penguins, okay? And I've got a possibility. I've just had planning approved for a three bed house uh, on the side of one of my houses. So basically it's free land, it's, it's my land. The house already is unencumbered, the mortgage is paid off. So I don't need to ask any permission for a mortgage uh, a company. And then here's the classic dilemma. Uh, do I sell the land? I don't know the exact figures, but it's probably about 80 grand, right? Do I sell the land? Do I sell the house and the land? Because that'd be easier for somebody who was buying it to renovate it. Or um, do I build, not a free house because you have to pay for the build, but do I build a house that's basically going to be free on the side of my house? Now, in the early days, I'd be 100% all about acquisition. No doubt about it, 100% all about acquisition. But these aren't early days anymore. And this sounds like a right prat, and I'm not trying to be, but my life will not be made happier nor unhappier by one more house whereas in the early days it was like oh i so want to buy you know like everything so i'm inclined and like it's like short term versus long term in for the first decade i took long term over short term every day of the week but now i'm like life is short it's for the living be free you've built the asset base you've done the rich dad poor dad perhaps perhaps i might like, i don't know yet Perhaps I might sell it, take the 80 grand and pay off another mortgage. It's a gift, isn't it? Anyway, what would you... Oh, oh I could sell it, um, t take the 80 grand and pay off another mortgage, or I could sell it and the other house that's worth 180 grand and take the 260 grand and pay off a couple of mortgages. What would you do? <laughs>